Hey everybody, it's Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh here. Going to be taking on Arctic Samuel and another Ori Calcos challenge. Yep. This is going to be kind of a special Ori Calcos challenge. It's going to be demonstrating a new feature of the challenge that you will see very soon. So let's get on with the duel. If I can shuffle my cards and not drop them all over the damn place. <laughs> Uh, that that's how you know we're off to a great start. Yeah. In case you're wondering what this card is in the middle here, this is my custom field center. I got this made just so that um, because my mat doesn't have any zones on it, this helps keep the extra monster zones more organized. Okay. Hmm. So we'll draw our cards, and before we even look at our cards, I'm going to say I'm going to ask you something. Would you like to play with? Skill cards. Skill cards? Yes, yeah, skill cards. You get a random skill assigned to you if you choose to play with skill cards. Hmm. Uh, there are no whammies. Every skill is useful to a degree. And you can choose to play the duel as normal or pick a skill card randomly. And uh, that skill card can only be used once per duel. Its effects can only be activated once per duel. Some skill cards do have permanent uh, effects after being activated, though. Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. There is one catch, though. If you choose to play with skill cards, you get a skill card, but I can also use my own personal skill card. <laughs> so, would you like to pick a skill? Mm. It's kind of like skills and duelings, except they're randomly assigned to the opponent. I see. Because Why not? Let's see, I'll go with this one. There are seven usable skill cards by the opponent. And you got minus, minus curse. curse. That's not a bad one. Yeah. Let's see. And my skill card at the ready is unlock the seal. Now we will roll for first. Yep. You got a six. I got a six. And I get a one. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Uh, okay. Um, I will normal summon Ori Calcos Rescue Rabbit. <laughs> this early on. Yeah. Oh, man. Activate his effect. Yep. Banish for cost. Do you have a response? No response. Okay. Because hand traps are a thing. That they are. Uh, special summon two Ori Calcos Soldiers. Do not cut yet. I'm going to go back in pretty soon. Oh. I'm going to Link Summon. I, link? For Link Spider. Then I use Link Spider's effect to special summon another Ori Calco soldier from my hand. Then I will exceed the remaining two soldiers to create Ori Calco's dragon. Whew. Then I'll use Orichalcos Dragon's effect to search my deck for any Orichalcos card from my deck or graveyard. I will add Orichalcos Matia. Mm -hmm. Then I will activate Orichalcos Matia. Pay 500, feel magnificent. Let's me search for an Orichalcos card. Orichalcos Matia. Let's me search for an Ari Calcos card by paying 500. I can only use each effect of Matia once per turn. Its other effect is that while it's in my graveyard, I c it's basically a return of the Dragon Lords for my Ori Calcos monsters. Each effect of Ori Calcos Matia can only be used once per turn. Oh, lordy. I will fetch the Seal of Ori Calcos itself. Because why not? turn after that. Alrighty then. Draw the turn. And I will start by normal summoning Silver Gadget. Okay. Activate effective Silver Gadget. Okay. To 
special summon a red gadget. And then activate effective red gadget. Okay. Link Spider only has a thousand attack. Okay, what is its effect? Um, once per turn, I can special summon a level four or lower normal monster from my hand to the zone he points to. As you did. Uh-huh. Great. I had yellow gadgets from my deck to my hand. Okay. Forget you have that. Let's see. How much defense is Dragon? Twenty seven hundred. See. He's thinking long and hard on what monster he wants to bring out. Yeah. I I have quite the extra deck. And I want to make the most of it. This is actually a tough choice. <laughs> uh. I think for now I will just exist some in Gear Dragon X. All right. Activate the effect of Gear Dragon X. That's good. Detach to search. Okay. And I will add Machina Fortress. I mean. Machina Fortress? Gear Frame, I'm Gear sorry. Frame. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. Machina Fortress is the best. Yeah, Machina yeah. Fortress. Pretty good card. Yeah. It certainly is. Like Spider only has a thousand. Okay, okay. So battle phase, Gear Dragon X will attack the Link Spider. I'll take thirteen. Yeah. Okay. And with that, I end my turn. All right. I'll draw a card. I'll use the effect of Orichalcos Dragon. Yep. Detach my last material. I will search my deck for Darts, King of the Ori Calcos. Oh. If you want, uh, okay. So search for darts. Then I shall. Since I control an Orichalcos card, I can activate darts in my Pendulum Zone. Okay. I'll use the Pendulum Effect of Darts mm -hmm. to add to send an Orichalcos Field Spell from my deck to the Graveyard. He gains its name and its effects of the one layer until the end of your next turn. Oh boy. So I will send Orichalcos Pentos. Oof. Arcalcos Pentos lets me special summon a monster from my graveyard once per turn. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Mm. <laughs> uh, so I'll use that effect now. To bring back a soldier. Hold on.
Then I will go to my battle phase. Yep. Dragon into Gigant for 700. Yep. And soldier into you directly for 2,000. Okay. Ow. Your turn. All right. Draw for turn. Pentos does nothing during your turn. I can only use its effect on my turn. Okay. Okay. Also in mocking a gear frame. Okay. Activate gear frame effect. That's fine. Add mock fortress in hand. Yeah. As as it should be. Right. As you intended originally. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. By the way, since the last video, I've actually reached uh, 500 subscribers, so I just wanted to give a quick thank you to all you guys. It really means a lot. And a congratulations from me. Yeah. Let's see. So I will send the Yellow Gadget and Machina Fortress to a special summon Machina Fortress. Okay. Uh, let's see. Battle phase, I'll have Machina Fortress attack Oikelko's dragon. Okay, you take 500. And then I gain Machina Fortress's effect and destroy Oikelko's dragon. Mm. I'll let it go. Let's see now. Your turn after that. Alright, draw for a turn. Hmm. Is it from deck or from hand or deck? Has to be just from deck. Okay. Hmm. I will activate the seal of Ori Calco. Here it comes. Then I will pay 500 for Kitora back row. Dartic is exclusively a pendulum spell in my pendulum zone still. Okay. I can get a I know that's a little confusing, but he's still a pendulum and not a monster. He's a spell right now. Yep. Version of a pendulum. Then I will go to battle phase, have my 2,500 soldier attack your 1,800 gear frame. And I take 700. Uh, your turn after that. Alright. Draw for turn. Don't forget, you have that. Yep. And I think I will activate the Minus Curse. Okay. Yep. So it's basically a Quaking Mirror Force during my opponent's turn. Yep. Or my, yeah, during when he activates it. Exactly. So it sets all my monsters and their battle positions cannot be changed permanently. Yep. It's, it's definitely a sight to see a face down defense position monster in the back row. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. So your minus curse is used up. Yep. In fact, you could probably just do that to signify that your skill yep. card is used up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But what I want to do now is the next question. Something you should also know about the skill cards is that they're not monsters, spells, or traps, so they cannot be negated and they cannot be responded to. 
Also, anything that would normally not affect a monster affects it if it's a skill card. Mm -hmm. Like, certain cards say banish... Like, if a certain card says select a monster, it could, like, get rid of a... It could work on, like, a Chaos Max or something. Whew. I think for now I'll just normal summon a yellow gadget. Okay. Activate yellow gadget effect. Yeah. And add green gadget to hand. Ooh, okay. Soldier has 15 defense, in yep. case you're wondering. Huh. Pass turn. Alright, draw a card. I will activate Orihalcos Deuteros. Well done. Then I will normal summon Dark Honest. He goes up to 2400 with the Orihalcos. Oh, 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 no. Then I use the effect of Orihalcos Deuteros to gain 1500 life points because I control three monsters. Yep. Then I will enter battle phase and have Dark Honest attack Yellow Gadget. Yep. How much attack is he again? 24? 24. Okay, so I take 12. That'll be your turn. Okay. Draw. Pause real quick. Alright. I will normal summon Machina Gear Frame. Okay. Gear Frame effect? Sure. Add another fortress to hand. Mm-hmm. And then. I shall send Green Gadget and Machina Fortress from my hands to Special Summon Machina Fortress. Let's see. I will then enter my battle phase and have Machina Fortress attack Dark Honest 100 over. 100. And Machina Gear Frame with 1800 will attack you face down. Alright, Soldier with 15 yep. defense. Yep. And with that, your turn. Alright, draw for turn. I'll use the effect of Rikalko's Deuteros to gain 500 life points. Because I control one monster. Yep. Then I will tribute Kutora to normal summon Dark Magician Girl of Chaos. Oh. I use Dark Magician Girl of Chaos's effect to add a spell back from my graveyard to my hand. Should be Orichalcos Pentos. Hold on, is it basically Dark Magician of Chaos? But with one tribute. And 200 less attack, but. Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? Yeah. Um, oh no. Silvery Calcos makes for 3100. <laughs> no, I'm scared now. Um, I will go to battle phase and attack Machina Gear Frame with Dark Magician Girl of Chaos. Let's see, how much attack again? 31? 31. Okay, so I take... Let's see, 31 minus 18, that would be... 13? 13, okay. She also destroy, banishes any monsters she destroys by battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh. But when she leaves the field in any way, she gets banished herself. Uh. Now it's your turn. Draw. <laughs> this is so bad. This, what, what a terrible, terrible crisis this has become. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You can't fortress. You can't crash with fortress because she'll banish him. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and then fortress will do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Mm. Uh. 
Okay. I, I can figure this out, I'm sure. Uh, normal summon gold gadget. Alright. Effective gold gadget. That works. Special summon ancient gear gadget. Alright. Ancient gear gadget effect. Sure. I declare spells. Alright. And checking graveyard. Can I? I can. Machine duplication. Oh, good lord. Yep. Special summon. And special summon. Okay. Effects of both declaring monsters and traps, respectively. Okay. There we go. Question. Can you get over the 3100 attack? Hmm, that is a good question. Okay, I, I think I can figure something out here. Okay. And I, I'm gonna do this with as, as much brute force as possible. Yeah. I'm going to Link Summon Mrs. Radiant. Okay. Machna Fortress is now at 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to Xyz summon number 39 Utopia. Mm -hmm. Then Xyz summon number S39 Utopia Prime. Okay. And then Xyz summon Utopia the Lightning. Alright. Let's see. And then I will enter my battle phase. Utopia the Lightning will attack Dark Magician to kick. Dark Magician Girl of Chaos? Yeah. Using the effect of Utopia to Lightning to make its attack 5,000? Okay. So that's what? 19? 19, 19, yep. 19 over? Yep. Yep. She gets banished whenever she leaves the field. Yep. Fortress for 3,000? Yep. And, and Mrs. Mrs. Radiant, Radiant for 19. For 19. Okay. Whew. There we go. Yeah, that even things up. Oh yeah, your turn after that. All right, draw a card. Whew. That that skill card gave me the time I needed. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's my turn to destroy you. I activate the spell card Illusion Gate! Oh no. Destroys your field. Uh, d d d then I get to take one monster from your graveyard to my side of the field, ignoring the summoning conditions. But that leaves me wide open. Exactly. Uh, Locking a fortress. And then you get your Mrs. Radiant effect, I believe. See. Does it say if or when? Let's see. Let's see. It says if. So you get to add an earth back. Let's see. Let's see. I'll go with. Ah, can a fortress? Okay. <laughs> At the end of this turn, my life points get reduced by 90%. But... Don't care! <laughs> uh, battle phase, fortress for 3,000. Uh, for game? Uh, yep. That's that. Yep. Even with that skill card. Yeah. I still have... I didn't even get to demonstrate and... my skill card. Oh man, what is your skill card over there? Um, I'll show you, I'll show everybody in the deck profile coming soon. In okay. fact, it might be coming tonight or the next day even. Okay. So, yep. We hope you enjoyed. Pretty fun game, yeah. I would say. Um, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the irony here. Yep. Yeah. So don't forget to uh, leave a like, 
Comment, tell me what you thought, and maybe even subscribe if you're new. Anyway, this is my Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh! and my buddy Arctic Samuel. We're signing out of here. See you all next time.